So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover another amazing lab that is answering complex question using native derived tables with LookML. So first of all open the looker incognito window. Now if you are new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel for more such amazing videos. And if you are new to the arcade or arcade facilitator program and want to see the skill badges you can check the description. Now wait from the lab instructions enter the details like this. And just log in and wait for the looker to fully open. Here, one thing very important you have to enable that is development mode. Just click on this development mode so that you will be able to modify the files, which we will be doing in the next step of this lab. So, this is very important part. So, just wait for the page to fully load. Now, here in the description box of this video, I've shared one repository which we will be using. So, just go to develop quick labs e commerce. And now here we'll be creating a view and updating the training underscore e-commerce file. So basically the model and the view. Basically here we have to create a view. So click on view and just create view. And for view name, what you have to do, just copy the name from the GitHub repo carefully. Just paste over here and click on create. Now what you have to do, just control A and then hit backspace. Now from the github repo copy like this and just paste over here and click on save changes. Now again what you need to do is you have to update the training underscore e-commerce file. So just copy from here click on the model and just update the file from here and just replace the content and just click on save changes. We have to just save changes and if you are new to this channel just like the video and subscribe the channel. Now validate the look email. Now for commit message basically you have to click on commit and for commit message type any message like like the video and just click on commit and just after that click on deploy to production. Now this part we have done now you have to open this right click and open this looker in new tab basically you have to just click on it and open thrice. Now from here we have to open the go to explore and just wait a minute once you have clicked on explore just click on order items so let me show you how you have to open just click over here and what you can do we have to basically open in three tabs order items so just you can right click and open three times if you haven't done previously so just open it on all the three tabs i hope you are understanding what i am trying to say now here for the first one we have to click on this and here we have to make some modifications. So let me show you what modifications we have to make. Now first of all go to the github repo and copy this name. Basically we will saving this view. Now first of all what you need to do update the visualization to pie chart. So just click on this. Now the second thing is that we have to update this basically sort this table to ascending order. Just click on this arrow. Just again click on as you can see it's ascending sort order so we have sorted it now we have to update the row limit to 10 just add it here and just click on run now wait for this to complete just click on save and save as a look and enter the name if you haven't copied the name just go back to your github repo and paste over here now click on save now you have to go to the second and third tab and just for second tab just open this task 2 and for the third tab also what you need to do is open the go to if you haven't opened go to explore order items and just open the third one basically now what you have to do you have to just wait for it to get completed and will be done with the task now here is the catch you need to wait for at least four to five minutes sometimes even less or sometimes more for getting full score because sometimes you need to wait only because Luca takes time to update the score. I hope you understand. So just wait and hit check with progress after a few minutes and we'll definitely get the score. If you face any issue, do let me know in the comments. Thank you guys. Have a great day ahead. 
do like the video and subscribe the channel